Hello, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. Yes, we are. I hope you're doing super fantabulous. My name is Arena Luciano, and I am here to bring you your November taroscopes. Even though I'm super late, just trust they've been really sick, and I'm trying to get better, okay? It's been rough. Like, I spent the whole week last week in bed, and then also taking care of my daughter. So, with that being said, the way that these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general, a singles, a couples, and an all signs, all right? Everything will be time stamped, and just heads up, I likes to talk. <laughs> and if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. You, all right? I hope you're doing super fantabulous. So sorry about the wait, guys. So sorry about the wait. Uh, the wait. The wait. The wait that we had to wait, okay? Sorry, my nose is really stuffy. It's been a long day, but we're going to get these done, okay? On the first, we had that new moon in Scorpio, 9 degrees, big baby. Also, by the way, if you like tarot and you like to have a good time, come, come see me on um, Instagram. We go live on Tuesdays for half price readings, 11-11 and 22-22. Get your questions answered, ow, okay? Now, on the first, we had that new moon in Scorpio, 9 degrees. This was a time of really... Um, setting the tone and I'm using a set of new cards called Loteria Remedios um, Oracle by Selena Gonzalez absolutely love this and you pulled the musician El Musico and this is about letting the music take control this is also about practicing rehearsing and getting it together changing the music changing the song and taking a situation that was once very scary and turning it into something beautiful the magic is in you it is time to get creative okay now on the second mercury entered into sagittarius communication is a little bit reckless okay a little reckless and on the third mars entered into to leo i want to say lunar into leo guys i'm so sorry it's been a long long day uh, Mars enters into Leo. Mars, this planet of action and planning and moving things forward, is in this really brave sector of the sky. So you're going to be taking chances. You're going to be wanting to go for it. You're wanting to do great things. All right. On the 11th, happy Veterans Day to all my veterans out there. All right. All those who've served, all those who are serving, and all of those who are going to serve. May you be blessed and move to the most highest of high ranks. All right, my dad is a veteran, so it means a lot to me. Now, on the 15th, oh, also, it's my daughter's 16th birthday that day, so we're going to really celebrate it. And we have Venus in Capricorn that day also, and Venus in Capricorn, love is going to be about practicality, all right? It's got to make sense. And on the 15th, Saturn goes direct with the full moon in Taurus, 24 degrees. <sighs> Saturn Direct, it's about time. It's been doing this little retrograde cha-cha-cha over and over. But it's time for things to be set into place. It's kind of time for things to get back in order. Now, with this full moon in Taurus, and full moon is ruling that the, the Taurus rules the second house, our resources, our finances, and things of that nature. Look at where it falls in your chart. But you pulled El Bandalón, the guitar, and... This energy is coming in and saying, with this full moon, it might be good to unwind. And I do think music is very important and key to you as you move through. You might be wanting to pick some really um, relaxing music, change the music, that kind of thing. Or what? Change the damn dirty song and listen to another one. Let's create our own. But when the bandaloon comes out, it's about being strung a little too tight. It's This is time to unwind and release with this full moon. All right. On the 19th, Pluto enters into Aquarius so Pluto and Aquarius uh, this is about humanity this is about the worldwide world everything on the bigger spectrum right but there's a lot of changes coming in okay and this is a time when we need to be kind to each other and love each other and move forward as a collective okay it's going to be a challenge all right dig deep and be kind okay on the 21st <clears throat> <sighs> Call your favorite Sagittarius up 
and tell them happy birthday, baby, because it's their season. And on the 25th, Mercury will be going retrograde in Sagittarius. Y'all already know the get-go with the Sagittari with the Mercury retrograde. I really feel like with this retrograde, some of us might be going through some spiritual and political and worldwide views that might be changing. And we might be reverting to old ways or maybe even changing what we believe in. All right. So that's coming up also. Now, days to look out for the 2nd, the 5th the 8th, the 14th, 17th, and 25th so far. Astrological card for you this month, this month is out of the third house. The third house is about communication, um, learning new things. Maybe you want to go take a quick class or a quick course and maybe short distance travel and dealing with family members, you know, your cousins and things like that. And the third house is kind of telling you like this might be the area to like really work on as you are moving forward in love. How do you communicate? Are you putting it out there? Are you working with that energy? All right. Your first card that you got um, for love is that of up in the air. And it's really interesting because I have a musical right there next to it. So I feel like when it comes to a relationship or when it comes to love, things are pretty much up in the air for you. You're really not too focused in on one certain thing, but you're kind of like, okay, let's see what happens next. Let's enjoy this. Let's have a good time. And that's why it's going to be important for you to... Um, not be wound up so tight because the willow tree, it, it goes with the wind. It does not, it bends, but it doesn't break. Okay. And so this is about being flexible yet firm in your boundaries. Overall, you pulled the wise one when it comes to love. Okay. So this is like, you're growing within your current situation of love. You're probably looking at love in a very different light. You're also like putting a lot of your wisdoms, your beliefs and you're starting to look at things from a different perspective when it comes to love. It was a very freeing place to be for you. It's like you're comfortable. You're in a good place. All right, let's see what we got going on in the general. And I'm probably going to have to take some medicine because I can't breathe. All right, let's see here. General, general, general. We have health. Health is going to be very important for you this month. Um, move on from a situation that you feel that you're not getting where you want to be. It's a waste of time. And you could be dealing with someone who is very egotistical. Overall energy, there is a spy. Capricorn and um, Leo got this card quite a bit. So there's someone spying or someone trying to gather more information about you. They want to know what you've been up to. What are you doing? Nosy rosies, I tell you. It's because you look so good, Libra. <laughs> so with that health card, we have partying. Take care of yourself if you're going out and having fun. Make sure that you're watching your drinks, that you're not um, indulging too much, okay? And designated driver. Move on. I want you to know there is some competition. Where Look, where, if someone's making you feel like an option, move on. We're not options. We're the main course. Move on from that situation. And the narcissist card, it's someone who it might be over texting you. They might be doing a, love, a lot of love bombing. Oh, I hate when my nose is like this. And yeah, somebody is watching and looking. There's that spy card. I think that they want to know more and more what you're doing, why you're probably not feeding into their ego. What have you been up to? Why aren't you calling them like you used to? Things like that. Like, oh my goodness, I have way too much stuff over here. My purse, everything. Okay, there. All right, let's see here. What do we have going on? Oh, I really hate being sick. <laughs> All right, we have a lot of conflict here with the five of wands coming through in the past, but you know your worth. You're standing on your, you're standing on business, boo. You're standing on business. You're like, no, not today. I'm the empress. But there is a little bit of like this karmic energy with the eight of swords. Try not to get caught up in a situation where really you are free. You're gonna let that go. You're gonna invest in something new with the page of pentacles, um, even though it kind of hurts with the five of cups. It's like, damn, I got to start over. But you knew you needed to. You know you need to with the Empress. So in this, with the High Priestess, <clears throat> I might have to stop it and clear my throat. Give me just a minute. 
Hey, hopefully I you can understand me better. <laughs> so what are we in conflict about? The Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. You could be seeing the number 555 five, five a lot. There could be a lot of going back and forth. But your guidance is to be like the Empress, the King of Swords, kind of watching your words, being very aware of what's going on, and maybe not making a comment for everything. The Eight of Swords said you will have the victory with the Chariot. The page of wand, the page of pentacles says the eight of wands. So I do think that once you free yourself from a situation where you're always arguing or made to feel less than, you feel better. But why do we the five of cups? I see like the cycle, like that we keep getting drawn back into a cycle. And it's going to be important for you, Libra, that high priestess says, look, go within. Go within. There, There is nothing anyone can say or do that is going to change the way this person is behaving with you. The only thing that can change is the way that you're dealing with that behavior. Okay? So very interesting with the devil energy in the five of cups. Like... We were so great together. I don't know why we're not working out. Because we're not supposed to be together. Okay? Because there's something better on the horizon. Because there's something else. But that high priestess with the hermit, this energy is basically saying go within. You have to go within to get out of a situation that someone is making you feel less than. And you know what? This could even be in a friendship. It could be at work. But there, there's like... This person is spying. This person's trying to get more information. What are you up to? What's been going on? Let's get clues. Who's the spy? Who's the spy? Oop. Who's the spy? This bad shuffling. Let's see. We have someone with a large forehead. Aries energy does not have to be their sun sign. Um, big head. <laughs> big head. Grain hair. Okay. Leo energy. So this person is very fiery. Um, we have someone who has probably light hair, fair skinned. Aries energy again. Very strong Aries coming in. And this individual could really like to work out. They could be very burly. They could be overbearing. And then we have the snake. So there's definitely some snake energy coming in for you. I really kind of feel like there's this vibe of something just isn't right. And you've got to learn to trust that Libra. Give me more. They dress very well. Um, there's something about if they're feminine, there's something about their makeup. But I'm going to be real honest. It's something about the eyebrows, because these eyebrows is crazy looking, okay? And then I have someone who is trying to hide. They're trying to hide what they're doing. Very interesting hair, okay? There's something about their hair and their eyebrows. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, my fingers. Everything's hurting. I think I'm just tired. <laughs> okay, we gotta wake up. We gotta wake up. Let's see what we have for our beautiful singles. All right, let's see what we got for our singles. Singles, what do we have? We have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm gonna say, if we pull it out water, I'm gonna be disappointed. And give it time because something's about to show up, all right? And here we are at Communicate. Overall, it's time for us to communicate effectively, communicate our wants, our needs, our desires effectively. What do we need to know when it comes to the Earth Sign card? Times with your friends, you're happy, you're enjoying your single life, you're in the moment. You could be invited to a lot of parties in the next few weeks, all right? Especially on the 18th. Fire sign has making someone feel like they're not enough. Okay, they could be very self-sabotaging. Give it time says there is unconditional love coming. There's something on the on the horizon. Okay, and communicate about what makes you happy, what makes you excited. Um, being excited to talk on the phone again. You know, the old school love, like where you waited for that phone call and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe they're calling me. When you're smiling at your phone again, all that good fun stuff, it's coming, okay? All right, what does Libra need to know when it comes to love? 
We have that of the open up your heart with the sun. Whatever it is that you're thinking, that is a yes, all right? We have the queen of wands right here in the middle of your read. This is about I don't chase, I attract. She also trusts her intuition with the black cat, and she's very free. She holds her wand in high esteem, okay? There is a huge change coming to your love life with the death card. Whoa, that card wanted to come out. What's this? And we have the Page of Wands. We're kind of releasing the Page of Wands, this whole, like, we'll see what happens. Because we're going in as a queen. We're putting ourselves on this pedestal. We're not waiting for someone to put us there. We're putting ourselves. All right? And then we have the Knight of Wands. So I do feel like you are... Still going to be young, fun, and full of stunning energy, okay? You still are a Libra. And then I have the King of Cups up here crowning your read, like overall energy. So I do feel like maybe this is you and your friends going out. Y'all could have a little bit of an age gap, but y'all are having fun. You're enjoying life. Things are going well, okay? I also think when I'm looking at this, I feel like... At the end of the month, you're going to make an impulsive decision. It's going to be okay. There could also be a family event that you're going to that you can meet someone, okay? The sun wants you to know the nine of pentacles. There is a trip. I feel like you're going to be cutting someone off or you're cutting, you're cut off of something. You're not, you're, you went on a trip and you cut them off. You left. You're like, look, I'm good. I'm doing my thing. I'm going to go on a new adventure. The queen of wands wants you to know the Ten of Swords. Some of y'all found something out about a work situation when you came back from a trip. I just found out she was pitching her own booby. What's, what's going on here? To the Seven of Cups. So I think you were with somebody who didn't really per se know what they wanted. And you're kind of disappointed because you wanted more with this individual. But you're letting it go with the Five of Cups. You're like, okay, look, I'm going to take my wand back. I'm like, eh, eh, it's mine. <laughs> you ain't getting no more. And I'm going to make some big changes with this death card. With the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to go for something new. Nine of Cups. There's also this desire of wanting to get what you've always wanted. And you know that something has to change. Page of Wands with the Two of Swords. You're cutting something off this month. You're cutting it off. Five of Swords. Definitely getting rid of that. The 25th is going to be very important for you this month. What does the Knight of Wands want you to know? The Ten of Wands. Okay? So there might be a situation this month where you decide to do something a little bit, you know, taboo and fun. And it's on a trip. Okay? So you might... Get a little wild and go do something fun, and you should. And then I have the King of Cups with the Queen of Swords. So I kind of feel like in this situation, what's up with this King of Cups? There's a King of Cups that wants to come from the past, and I feel like you've already moved on. You're going to be a little bit cutthroat with this individual and they kind of deserve it you know like they kind of deserve it you're like I'm stronger than that I'm not doing this again you're not going to get me like that again and I kind of feel it goes to that um to that you know we're cutting it out we're looking for what makes us happy and this king of cups isn't what what's making us happy anymore you know we're, we're tired of the broken promises you can't come in every time i'm about to start something new just so that you can get your way right and that's the vibe that i'm getting i also see one two three tens in your read so i'm going to say watch your finances this month libra there could be a lot of unexpected financial situations going on Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to pull this King of Cups out because you're giving him the Queen of Swords. You're like, not today. Not today, my guy. We're not doing this today. I'm good. King of Cups, what is it that you want to express to their Queen of Swords? I don't feel like I deserve you. I'm scared you will reject me. And I regret what I did for you, did to you. So this individual, like, 
fumbled the bag, as they say, like they fumbled it. And this individual wants to come back once they see that you start something with that Ace of Pentacles, which could be significant towards the end of the month with that um, retrograde. What day was the retrograde? The 25th. And I'm telling you, that's what day is coming really strong. So this person has like a very tan olive skin. Um, they could like to travel a lot, long legs, long nose, um, a bigger chest. And there's that Aries energy. They're very like burly. They like to work out or they're very curvy. Um, could be hairy or has really interesting hair. You know, I keep saying interesting because it's not that it's ugly. It's just different. Okay. People tell me I have interesting hair all the time and that's because I, I buy it. Okay. I like different hair. I like to change it up. My gosh. It's to have fun. All right. So that's what I have coming in for you. But let's see who is a good choice for you this month. I wish I could breathe. <laughs> I just want to breathe. <laughs> I just breathe. All right, let's see who's coming in for you, my beautiful sunshine and rainbows. Who's coming in for Libra? Let's see. We have Taurus energy. We have somebody with really beautiful skin, porcelain-like skin. Cancer energy. We have someone who could wear glasses or contacts. Really be into reading. This person could even have a secret crush on you. And we have small petite features. Leo energy. All right. And overall, a mature individual with the lilies. Virgo energy. My elbow. I don't know if I like kept my elbow in a really weird spot, but it hurts right here. More clues. What does the gentleman want them to know? What does the gentleman want them to know? Twitter. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. And this one was coming out too, but I'm going to like lay it to the side. I do feel like this person could talk a lot about sex or like um, be very sensual when they talk, but you can meet this person online, okay? The moon wants you to know... The bomber jacket. Okay, so this individual is also someone who's like kind of mysterious. Mm, okay, and the journal, I'm telling you, secret crush. The journal is telling you La Coachella, okay? So this individual could be a different culture than you, a different race. And the child wants you to know, I want to buy you a drink. <laughs> like someone who talks a lot about money, but they'll be like, hey, you want to go grab a drink with me? You want to go meet me at the bar kind of vibe? And then the little lilies are saying the internship or the soldier. Coffee date. This is someone who is more into daytime dating than they are into the night. And there's also something about the color green. This person might have green eyes or they wear a lot of green or green is just their favorite color. Okay, interesting. Let's get you some guidance. Okay, right in front of me. What do they need to know? What do they need to know this month? We have your abundance is going to be really good. You're also making your house a home. And you're working on your confidence and your solar plexus. And I also feel like watch your diet. Pay attention to your stomach this month, okay? And keep up those prayers. You gotta get your you gotta get your prayer meditation life together and move forward, okay? The blossoming abundance. Movement. Your money is making big money moves. The temple path. I do think, like, this makes me think, like, pay attention to what's going on at home. Like, fix things before um, they get out of control, okay? And then the third chakra is about fire. Getting that fire. fire what is it called? Breath of fire might be important for you this month. Like, that breathing technique to move all that energy um, from your stomach. And then pray about boundaries. Pray about your boundaries because someone is disrespecting those boundaries, whether they're your lover, your friend, or your, your boss. But it's, it's important for you to pray about that, okay? All right, let's go to our beautiful couples. What do we have going on for our Libra couples? Libra, what do we got going on? We have give it time, boo. Give it time. Long distance love or you feel very emotionally distant from your partner. 
And then we have the love spell. Ew. And moving. So we might have some long distance lovers moving in together this month. Congratulations. Or people who feel like it's time to move. Okay. Whether move in or move out. Remember, this is a tarot reading. This is not a personal tarot reading. If you would like one, you can hook up with me on my link tree. But um, don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Like if you're doing well in your relationship, don't don't do that to yourself. Don't don't plant those seeds of doubt. Okay. Take the parts that fit. Okay. Give it time, want you to know. Someone is might be really big time love bombing and you feel like this is a little bit off. So take your time. Someone's healing from feeling very distant, like someone was being feeling distant, and then the love spell with abundance. And the moving card says they're gonna express your love, they're gonna come through. I get two different relationships coming in here. Some of y'all are dealing with an individual who does a lot of like, maybe they were coming on extra, extra strong and then all of a sudden they pulled away. Others of y'all are just abundant in the love right now and you don't know what we're talking about. And you're like, what are you talking about? Everything's perfect. So, we'll see. Your person is being the magician right now. That's their story. They're being very creative. They're moving forward. They're thinking about the Ten of Pentacles. Family matching PJs for Christmas, okay? They see you as the lovers. They feel like they are like so excited that they have you. And they are acting like the Eight of Cups. That's a very interesting way. So they see you as the right choice. They see you as someone they want to have a family with, but they're walking away from something. So we'll have to see. Four of Cups comes between y'all. Someone is not very enthused. And then here it is, the Seven of Swords. So this is... Mm. friend okay so they may, they might feel like you're the right match like you're everything they want but I think they're playing games someone's playing games knight of swords six of swords oh uh, okay this is not for all so I get someone who's a little bit of, um, of a mastermind. All right, mega mind. All right, mastermind. They've they're like, yeah, we're the picture perfect family. We're great. Everything's good. You're my lover, but I'm gonna walk away from you. And I find it very interesting that these two cats, <laughs> these two cats are walking right into each other. Like one's like, I'm gonna kick your drink, and the other one's like, I got more drinks to kick. But there is definitely something being withheld in this situation. And let's get to the nitty-gritty, okay? Let's see what's going on here. What does the magician have for Libra this month? They have the chariot. So someone is ready to move forward. They feel like it's a victory. Three of cups. They feel like they've got you where they want you. Y'all could be planning a family vacation. Ten of pentacles with the five of wands. But there's something that's coming out. Okay, either a family member is going to say something, you're going to say something, five of swords. So there's five of wands, five of swords. Remember the beginning of the reading in the general that came out? Something came out over a family situation or a financial situation. But they see you as the lovers. They're like, oh, that's my boo. We're great together. Everything is good. The S, the Schmex is good. Everything's good. I feel like it's hot fire. I can't complain. Okay, they're like in... They like that. They like that with you. But they don't know yet. Seven of Cups. That or you don't know. There's something going on there. Pay attention to the 17th. I already wrote that down twice, I think. Yeah, 17th. The Eight of Cups. Why? The Nine of Pentacles. Somebody wants to walk away from being alone. Like They're like, look, I, wanna, I don't want to do this alone. I want to do this with you. But someone needs to release the past. There's something from the past that needs to be released. Four of Cups with the Three of Swords. Three of Swords doesn't always necessarily have to mean a cheating situation, but I'm going to be real with you, okay? I'm be, I can't even talk. I, so I've got so much mucus in my nose, it's ridiculous. I'm going to take some medicine. The Four of Cups, he's spilling his drink. The Three of Swords, and then someone feels exposed. And I feel like somebody's walking in and finding something out. We're going to talk about it with the Two of Wands. But what does the Seven of Swords want us to know? The Five of Cups. You just... 
your major decision, two of swords, and the eight of wands. Um, we can talk about it all day long, but a spade is a spade, and it is what it is. And I feel like there's something from the past that somebody just doesn't want to let go. And I kind of feel like it was withheld information that's come out. And this Knight of Swords over by the Six of Swords, give me more on that. Yeah. So, okay, look. One of y'all are going to go to a party or to a family outing or something like that. There's going to be some kind of an event where there will be a lot of drinks. We're overindulging. We're having a good time. Something comes out or something happens. And it's it's this is a really hard one for y'all. Y'all don't know if y'all are going to work through this. You don't know if you're going to make it. This could even be that someone from the past resurfaces and maybe you find a message on the phone or something. And you just can't believe this. Like you just like you're just like taken back by it. Let's get some guidance. You know, I wish I could be like always oh, puppy dogs and rainbows, but like I, that that energy at the end of the month was not cute, my friend. Not cute. Let's get guidance here. This is gonna be the guidance. I have the two of wands. There's there's a secret coming out. There's something that you're going to have to make a decision about. Take your time with temperance. Do not go overboard. And there's that judgment. And some of y'all are going to choose to do it alone. Oh, that, oh my goodness. I don't know what I did to my elbow, but it's so tender. I think you got tennis elbow. I don't even play tennis. But you're going to choose to do something by yourself. Like, you're like, you know what? I think I'm going to do this trip by myself. Or I'm going to do this alone because I need some alone time. And I got to move forward. Let's see. Let the little one tell us what do we not see coming? What does Libra not see coming? A burden. Somebody's watching. Somebody's spying. This could be a business venture. Um, somebody very close to your heart. There's the gentleman. And then there's the document or the truth that is coming out. And it's something new. So we have like a business decision. It's like a heart overhead matter. And we're going to have to really look at things like very clearly. Because um, the proof is in the pudding. I don't know. Like I feel like I'm giving too many puns. But that's the way that I see it. Like we're either healing from a love bomber. Or we're starting to see that this person kind of played it on a little too strong. And now they can't keep it up. Okay. In more ways than one. Ooh, let's get some oracle and then I need to take some medicine because I was just fine earlier and now I'm like struggling all right let's see here what do we have going on here what is the energy what do they need to know what do they need to know we have abundance your money is going to be really good this month okay but you're walking away from anxiety because you're tired of it and when you walk away from this situation where there was financial constraints, you're going to feel much better. And, and you know, like, I'm going to put this out there. Look, it could have been that you were making really good money. Life was really doing well. And then all of a sudden you hooked up with this person or you're with this individual and money is going down. OK, one way to know that you're not aligned with someone is when your finances or your resources start drying up. And I kind of feel like if that's your situation, you've noticed and you're going to walk away from it. There's a lot of anxiety around your money. A lot of anxiety there. You're walking away because you need freedom. You need a break. You got to move forward. And you need support in this thing. It's just too much. It's too much for you. And pray about your financial constraints. Pray about it because it's going to be important for you to move forward. All right. This is the part of the reading where we go Aries to Pisces. All right, let's see here. Libra, that was a very rough read. I think, um, I don't know, that was really rough. Like, sometimes I hate when the readings are very heavy like that, but then I'm like, okay, look. Like, if I were to always tell you, yeah, this is the month you're going to meet your new boo, da, 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 which some of y'all are, and you're going to realize that mm, you wish you wouldn't have met him. And I wish I never met you at all. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, let's see here. Somebody's watching. Somebody's overdoing it. They're doing a little too much, and it's causing a lot of conflict. Almost like you feel like you're under a microscope, okay? 
Oh my gosh, I was just getting better and now it is like not. <sighs> not happening. Oh, okay. Let's go. You feel very defeated and Aries is feeling very attacked. The your solution part is sticking to your promises and they are not doing their part. I also feel like someone might find out something about work and there could be a possible move, okay? Important date, the fourth. You are not putting your money in this situation anymore. Taurus is watching, but they don't trust. You feel betrayed with the Ten of Pentacles reversed and they are praying about a situation. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I'm getting really frustrated. <laughs> Sorry. Why are they praying? They're really missing your friendship too. They're trying to get grounded and trying to be secure about it, but it's been very difficult. Here you are. You're watching your communication. You really want to talk. Gemini is being my way or the highway. Like both of you are like, ah, okay. You really love this individual. You really care about Gemini and Gemini really cares about you and you guys are going to talk it out. Um, the 13th could be very important and that's a lot of conversations of love like I feel like I want you to look at how like your arrow is like you you could shoot him and they're coming after you like this and you're like wait we need to talk about it because I really love you important date I lost my shoe <laughs> the 14th you're in conflict with the five of wands that five of wands and five of swords have just been following you and Cancer is ready to make a decision. They're, they've realized that they're ready to make a choice. But you're not as passionate about the situation anymore. You're not as excited as you once were. And there's a lot of red flags. And I kind of feel like you've, you've pulled your energy back. Your passion is gone. The 13th could be important. I feel really heartbroken, Libra. And Leo is done. They like, look, I already tried to fix it. You want me to fix it? That's fine. So you're going to cut them off. And Leo said, let it all fall to the ground. <laughs> What's going on? The fourth could be important. Here you are is yes, yes, yes. And Virgo is like, I'm not ready yet. I, I don't know about this. So you're like, you don't want to change. And they're like, and no. So you were willing to make the change and Virgo has not healed from a situation that they don't want to talk about anymore, the seventh. Here you are praying and putting things into perspective. Because you feel like the other Libra is your soulmate, but they're hiding something from you, okay? You're like, can we please start over? Can we start fresh? And they're like, no, I'm not, I'm not willing to wait. Like, I think that we we're beating a dead horse. The temperance by the moon reverse for me is like a lot of hidden things and they've lost their patience. The seventh could be important. Here you are as the queen of swords. You're holding it down. You're sticking to business. All right. And Sagittarius is like tired. They're tired. They feel like they've been carrying the relationship. Wait, no, not Sagittarius. Scorpio. Scorpio feels like they've been carrying the relationship. You're very much into the past. You're like, but we've been together for so long. It means so much. And they're like, look, I really want to focus on my finances. I really want to focus on where we're going in life and what are we doing. And I can't do it by myself. Lucky day, the 20th. Okay. Here you are willing to be fair. You want to be fair about something. And Sagittarius wants to be untraditional. Okay, let's just go do what we wants to do and have a good time. You're going to stick to your guns. You're not going to budge. And they're like, fine, your way. Okay, fine. But they're going to have a chip on their shoulder and they're not going to, they're not going to agree to everything. Okay, the 13th could be important. Here you are as the six of wands. You're so like courageous and victorious. Capricorn is neglecting their emotions. Shocking, right? Shocking. And you just feel like you're spinning your wheels. You're like, I've tried so hard. You're not even listening. And they're like, we're not going anywhere. Some of y'all could find out that there is a pregnancy and someone may be trying to leave the scene. The fourth could be important. Here you are as the hermit reversed. You're kind of ready to open up. And Aquarius is like, I, this isn't fair. Like, I don't know what's going on. 
you feel like you've changed and that you're like not the same way that you used to be and they're they're ready for something new Aquarius is ready to walk away the 20th could be important here you are praying but not listening to a spirit guide what other spirit guide want them to know you're on the next phase you're you need it's time to heal and Pisces is ready to pour into you you're ready for this new adventure and they're ready to talk and move forward. It's going to work out. The 13th is important. So I kind of feel like this is a really up in the air kind of month. Don't get wound up so tight about things that aren't going your way. And trust your intuition as you move forward this month. And don't forget to come hang out with me on Instagram. Sorry about all the, all the like weird noises I was making. Take care and be blessed.